Okay, everybody, I'm back with another video. This is Brett. I'm going to continue talking about the Cadillac cars for a bit and some of the challenges facing Cadillac cars. I had trouble finding a Cadillac driving around this morning, so I just decided to pull into a local quick trip where I'm at. And uh, right now we got an LKQ box truck in front of us. But maybe if we're lucky, we'll see a few Cadillacs pull in and out of here. So, quick recap. I sort of ended the last video by talking about how Cadillac has kind of lost its luster and uh, how they stopped naming their cars, giving their cars true names, like uh, the only car with a true name is the Escalade, which is actually an SUV. And all their other names are these abbreviations, CTS, XT4, whatever. Uh, that don't really mean much to me, and I don't know if a lot of other people know what they mean. So one of the challenges uh, with the brand is they don't make any of the cars anymore that really made them famous or that people really liked back in the day. And another big challenge with marketing Cadillac is Cadillac being a GM division suffers from a lot of comparison to other GM models. And especially even the Escalade, you know, basically people look at that as a fancied up Chevy Tahoe or GMC Yukon. And it's harder for people to maybe justify paying that much more for what they see as a glorified Chevy. And a lot of these foreign companies that have gained the types of buyers that Cadillac would have attracted years ago, they don't really suffer that comparison as much. You know, Mercedes-Benz has different classes of cars, but they're all Mercedes-Benz. You know, BMW doesn't really have that problem. You know, uh, even Audi, you know, which is doesn't really get portrayed as a fancied up VWs, you know, that it's Audi. And a long time ago, you know, even most of the GM divisions besides Cadillac had a model within their division that was something of the Cadillac model. Pontiac had the Bonneville, Buick had the Riviera, Oldsmobile had the Delta 88, which... By the way, I have never actually owned a Cadillac, but I did own a 1977 Delta 88 when I was in college and high school for a while. So yeah, that's a problem with Cadillac. Now, I think that's one of the main reasons why they have to get the reliability of their cars better. When you're selling this luxury brand and people have come to expect a certain reliability from your brand and from your company of cars, you kind of have to live up to the standards of that brand. And you can't, you know, expect people to spend, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 more on what's equivalent of a Chevy